Hey guys, how are you going? This video was due in December last year, 2023. I did not get a chance. I've been so busy with photography video. I'm actually in the studio space uh, behind the computer editing photos as we speak. But nonetheless, an informal video. This is the watch box. I will show you my eight watches that I finished up in 2023. And in no particular order, but this is my favorite watch. This is the Seiko SLA 043. I absolutely love this watch. I think it's wonderful, it's beautiful. I've got it matched up on an Artem strap, as you can see, a really nice piece. For me, it just seems to tick all the right boxes. So, love this watch. My pride and joy, it's not the most expensive, it's not the cheapest, but absolutely love everything about this. Number two is an IWC Portuguesa. I just recently picked this up uh, late last year. Again, on an Artem strap, as you can see. This is the specific watch that I wanted in an Opalin dial with a blue handset, non-in-house movement. I actually didn't want an in-house service costs, long-term, all the rest. For me, this is ideal. So I actually let go of the Grand Seiko, the uh, blue sky flag, to get this. Long story, I'll get onto another video, hopefully. Uh, love that watch, love the Grand Seiko, the uh, sky flag. Unfortunately, this came up on the pre-owned market at a good price, so we did a deal. It is what it is, so... Next watch, we've got the Omega Aquaterra. Again, I purchased this watch twice. This is the second time I've got this watch. This is a doozer. It's a really beautiful watch. Uh, again, again, I've got this on an Artem strap. And you know, I've got to say, we're as reviewers, as YouTubers, we're really spoiled. We get watches and straps sent into us. You know, we we I, I hear what you guys say. Oh, Pete, you know, you get straps. Everything's free. There's no real other way for us to review stuff unless things are sent into us. And I want to thank people like Artem or D-Lugs or what have you for sending stuff because it gets us an opportunity to test things and to, to give us the feedback or give you guys the feedback. But love this watch. This is the second time I've bought it. It's a very practical watch. It's staying in the collection long term. Really could not be happier. So next watch is a Grand Seiko this is a beautiful watch. It's a green dial. It's absolutely stunning. I was actually gifted this watch just recently, and I've got to tell you, it's totally surprised me. From its look, its size, its wearability, I've got it matched up on a D-Lug strap at the moment. Review's just been done, if you guys haven't seen it. So some of these straps, reviews have been done, some haven't, but uh, this watch I love. I think it's uh, just the gesture of love, the expression of love towards me, because you know, I, I don't, I don't do well with gifts, as you guys know. But this was wonderful, and it's a, it's really a statement piece. I was meant to buy myself. I was planning on buying either a, uh, something like a maybe a Breitling Navitimer or potentially, maybe a Panerai, something big. I wanted a nice statement piece for the wrist, and you know what? This has ticked all the boxes. It is stunning. It is absolutely beautiful. So a keeper, staying long term. It's in my collection. It's not going anywhere because it's been given to me by someone special. So a really a real big thank you for that. Uh, next watch, the most boring watch according to you guys, according to the watch community, Tudor Black Bay 58 in blue. And some people say it's boring. Again, I've got this on a D-lug strap. You might say that this is boring, but to me, I've got to tell you, as a photographer, the way I look at things, the dial, when I get outdoors and I see, for me personally, I see a particular density or a, a color palette, um, the, the, just the tonality coming off that blue, it's beautiful. I think the crystal plays a big part to, in the uh, in the actual look of this watch. So it's, it's boring. I've never actually been happy with this watch personally, not because of the watch, because of its wearability. I've, uh, I love the look on the bracelet. I hate the bracelet. So I've experimented with Artem straps. I've experimented with D-Lugs. It's now settled on a, either a sailcloth or either a, a rubber strap. Could not be happier. So again, a long-term keeper. Next up, we've got a Seiko Marine Master Professional. And this watch here, I actually swapped. I actually swapped this with a friend, a really good friend of mine. I gave him my bullhead. He gave me this uh, Seiko. And I'll tell you what, this is lovely. This has been such a joy. Um, I've got it matched up on a dive core strap. This is, again, a review coming by the end of this month, hopefully. 
Um, really happy with this watch because you know what, come summer, and it is summer here in Melbourne, the day's about to start, this is an early morning video. This is a sort of strap that I you know, wear watches like, get out into the beach, get out into the water, cannot go wrong with a watch like this. Strong, robust, um, a real keeper, a real good looker in my eyes, and you know what, our collections, what we have here, I've got two watches left, but our collections, they're ours, and it sort of gives us a, an insight into the personality of the actual person wearing them, and this is what suits my lifestyle. It's not the best, but it suits me, so, you know, and, and what is the best? Uh, whether it's a, an expensive collection or a cheap one, it doesn't matter. This is what I like, so... Next cap off the rank, I've got a Meister Zinger Metris. And as you can see, this has got a single hand, a real easy laid back experience. For me, I've got this watch in the collection because sometimes when I go away on holiday, when I want to you know, just chill out, relax, do nothing with the wife, the kids, whatever, this thing gives me a general idea of time, just vaguely. Oh, it's look, it's about, there you go, it's about 11 o'clock. You know, it's not, I haven't said it, so it's not 11, but you know, it just generally gives you a time. Um, I like that. I like that because I still have a watch on my wrist and I'll tell you what, this wears superbly. It's 10 mil just under. It's a 38 and a half mil watch. Unobtrusive, 200 meters of water resistance. It really ticks so many holiday boxes for me. Going away, just relaxing. So again, I've got this matched up on an Artem strap. I think it's, if you can see it, there you go. In an Art, it's, it's a nice one of these gray hybrid straps and just experimenting, really enjoying it on the wrist and just enjoying the hobby. And last cap off the rank is the uh, Sin 556 and I've got this, this is the yellow one and I've got this on a yellow d -Log strap as well as you can see. I love this watch but I tell you what, I want to <laughs> I want to put another watch in the collection and a lot of you guys said Pete yeah, you know that I only keep eight and a lot of you guys have made mention look the best way to do it, very simple give a watch away, give it to somebody. And I'm probably gonna give this away to my daughter. Um, she doesn't know it yet, so hopefully she, you know, hopefully she doesn't see this video. But if I give her this watch, because I think she's 19, it's yellow, it's the right size, it's pretty sporty, she'll, you know, she'll appreciate something from dad. And at least that way I'll get a chance to put something else in the collection, so. But that's the collection, guys. Um, I haven't got a wrist, I haven't got a watch on the wrist, so I'll pick one. Obviously I'll pick the, the one that suits what I'm wearing today. and. Potentially, well not potentially, it is my favorite. There you go. Guys, enjoy the, enjoy the rest of the week. Enjoy what you do, enjoy this hobby because I think it's a healthy hobby as long as we don't get out of hand. Um, I'll try to put more videos up, I've been really busy. Uh, this was meant to be done, like I said, December, but thank you again for watching. Be well, be safe, and we'll see you all in the next one.